Hello and welcome back to Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. When we last left off, uh, we took out a Wampa. Yeah, that was supposed to come up when the Wampa, you know, arrived. Turned out, um... There we go. I was a bit faster on the draw than the Wampa was. <laughs> Don't slide down there. And then here is the boss. I know I just say, but let's see. Looks like the enemy is. Uh, <laughs> taking more damage off of me than I'm taking off of it. So, it's probably a whole different other place. Are you coming over this way? Come on. Well, it turns out when you give the enemy long-range weapons, they're just a little more annoying than they are when it's just melee. Okay, you don't go any further than there, it looks like. There it is. Yeah, unfortunately because of all of the um, hit points they give each of these bosses, I mean, you've got to find the safe spot and just cheese it there. Because um, in the Battle of Attrition, uh, they, they win. They, they win a lot. Luckily that, um, orange is not me getting hit, that's, um, you know, my charge jump having charged, very charged. But, this should bring us down to, uh... The end of the first level. Hopefully. Doo -doo 
Dobrze, dobrze, dobrze. A little bit faster. Considerably faster. Okay, you're down to one bar of health. One day this will be over. Come on. You're down to no bars of health. Come on. There we go. Yay. Then I start sprinting over here. Look, that droid sent a message to the Empire. Better return to base. Yeah, I'm sure I had a lot of time to return that message considering how long this took. Also, you're wondering why I'm always giving Han a very bored and disinterested sounding voice. Well, just listen to every time Mark Hamill starts doing the Harrison Ford voice and you'd understand. All right. Let's sprint off. Commander Skywalker, Imperial Walkers are approaching. We need to slow them down so our forces can retreat. Okay. Nice, the vehicle section. So I've got five harpoons. And a whole bunch of blasters, which probably aren't going to do much. Luckily, the harpoon can take him down pretty easily. So we're just going to do that to the first five of them. I think I made a save slot. Let me just... Verify that. Because I can't see with all the white. <laughs> and down for the count. You are, right? Yep, you are. And we're gonna do another... And another... And another. So, theoretically... We can do these turns, but yeah, it doesn't do much. But if we jump at the right spot, We can take them out ourselves. But ink. Goodbye. Fortunately, we are pretty low on health. Yeah. Okay. Now this is going to be a long, long time. Do, 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 do. 
One second while I get back to where I was. Okay, that's about back to where I was. Start bunny hopping next towards the uh Jeez, they take a lot of hit points. Yeah, and no lives. Direct to continues. Great. This is gonna be one of those games, isn't it? Yep. Yep. It's gonna be one of those games. Come on! Okay, we can get into another snow speeder. Maybe we can get more. Come on! Ow! Oh. Yeah, this game not be easy. Okay, I'm gonna drop a naughty naughty here and maybe I can head all the way back and get more, you know, harpoons? That'd be nice. I doubt it, but, you know, I can hope. But yes, this game, is, or this part, if you haven't noticed, plays a lot like the Atari 2600 um, Empire Strikes Back uh, game, which I played a lot of as a kid. Although, my god, it was kind of easier on the Atari 2600. Compared to this, yeah, very much easier. Hey, you guys wouldn't have any other harpoons I could borrow? No. Harpoons? Come on, you're the army of Norway. You should be able to have, hook me up with some harpoons. Apparently not. Okay, now. Let's start by heading all the way back. Let's see here. 
Hold on one more second. Okay, I figured out what I needed to do. Which is annoying, but meh. The idea is to shoot him from behind. A lot. And by a lot, I mean a lot, a lot. And by a lot, a lot, I mean a, a whole lot, a lot. Gonna be shooting him at or shooting at him at the back of their ankles. Over and over and over and over and over again. And try not to get so close that I'm shoving my speeder against the back of their ankles. Um, yeah, that, that's the whole strategy for this entire boss rush. I mean, it's true to the, um, movie, but, um, yeah, sometimes realism is not exactly what we're going for. You know, what we kind of want here is a game. Yeah. So, yeah, um, another Star Wars factoid based off of the Empire Strikes Back. Um, yeah, the rebel forces in um, uh, the Empire Strikes Back was indeed um, the Army of Norway. So, um, yeah, that's a kind of neat little bit of information. Um, I'm just going to play out the rest of this video doing this, and... Um, when we come back to the next video, it's definitely going to be um, the start of the next level, even if I haven't um, blown up all of these walkers just yet, because this is, this is tedium. Um, and trying to do this... Um, from the ground as Luke, uh, yeah, um, I don't really think so because each stormtrooper takes off so much health, it's, um, it's kind of crazy. Um, I understand that's probably how much a blaster should take off, in fact you should, you know, die immediately from uh, getting shot with a blaster, but, um, you know, it's a game. Something both Beam Software and uh, Sculptured Software did not seem to understand quite so much. And yeah, I can't do um, frame skip because then I get thrown too far back for my blasters to actually hit the enemy. So instead, it's just this over and over and over again. Also, you know, Luke wasn't the one that harpooned any of the um, walkers. It was his idea, except for his co-pilot Dax. Uh, was shot, 
so he couldn't do it. So the only person to successfully um, harpoon an Imperial Walker was uh, Wedge Antilles and his co-pilot. But I guess this game couldn't have had that. So I'm just going to hopefully finish up this walker. And hopefully not die, because I keep on running into it. And then probably going to run up and grab the one that's um, getting really close to the uh, rebel base. Blow that up. And uh, yeah, when we come back, I'll be done with this section. Have a good one.